Hey guys, welcome back. I have been MIA, I know. Don't hate me. Um, I've just been a little, like, distracted, I guess you can say. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to come in. I was sitting here doing my makeup, and I'm like, hey, why not just jump in front of the camera and film it? And I can excuse like my filming situation i am very unorganized right now like i i don't know my setup is completely a mess i mean my camera or my camera's right here obviously and my mirror is like over here my desk is also like over there and, and yeah we have to work with natural lighting so i have to sit this way like toward the window but then i don't have any room literally no room in my room to like reorganize this situation so we have to work with what we got so yeah I'm just going to get ready and talk with you guys and yeah let's go so I already have my eyes primed and my brows on as you can see I already um I covered up this pimple right here and this pimple right here because like they're hideous and you guys don't want to see all that to you now you know. I am going to be working from this palette. It's the 350M palette, the 350 matte palette. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do a simple, I wanted to do like a cut crease kind of look today. I don't know. We'll see. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Cause I don't, I like putting lashes on just because I have been having the worst allergies my eyes have been super dry lately so when I put my lashes on my eyes start pouring and it messes up my entire makeup but my makeup also doesn't look complete without lashes so yeah I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet if I'm going to go just full out liner lashes and everything like that or if I'm just gonna keep it plain more simple and plain. Starting with this shade right here, I'm just going to blend that all over my transition area crease and just like all over everywhere. Oh, hold on now, we got a big old crease. So a little bit about my setup and why it's so crazy right now. Um, I actually, thought that I would be moved in to a house by now like that's one of the ma main reasons like I had stopped filming was because I was actually house hunting and my house was just getting really just really small and um I just needed needed a bigger area and I was hoping whenever I moved that I would actually have a makeup room, just like a room specifically for me filming, but that's not happening at the moment. Like I th hoped and I thought it would. So um, I kind of got discouraged about that and that's another reason why I stopped filming and I went MIA. So, um, yeah, just because, like, I didn't have the room to do it in here, and I hate being cramped, but I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna let that, I'm not gonna let that stop me from, you know, sh filming videos, because it's something that I really like to do. So, yeah, we are working with what we got. That's, like, my favorite motto in life, is to work with what you got. Going in with the same brush, I'm actually gonna pick up some of this color right here the shadow right here and I'm gonna blend that a little into my transition uh, area as well and then a little bit into the crease going in with a different smaller blending brush I'm gonna pick up this color right here just because it's really catching my eye right now and I want to play with it I'm just going to blend that in my crease And I'm also taking it into the outer V as well. You guys, I usually have like the air on full blast when I'm doing my makeup because I sweat, like 
I could start dripping sweat like just like yes <laughs> that's how fast and I feel it coming so yeah everybody bear with me I just hope my eyes don't start watering god I hate when they do that And you guys, this was not in, like, uh, the books for today. Like, today was supposed to be just, like, soft and subtle makeup. And now I'm just, like, boom, full on <laughs> sunset eyes. Like, yes. Now going back in with that same shadow, I just packed it on my brush a little bit, um, thicker like I picked up a lot more product than I did last time and I'm just gonna push it in my outer V area and I honestly think I want to put some right here as well and then we'll go back in and put more in the crease and I'm just leaving the center open the center of the lid open that way we can uh, pack some glitter on or shimmer shimmer glitter anything really just to make it pop really we can even do a matte shadow if we really wanted to so there's the eyes so far I like them okay um going in I think I'm going to use a little bit of concealer on um the center of my lid just so I can really make that whatever I end up putting there pop and I'm just putting a little tiny bit like that and blending it out the morphe 335e palette and I'm taking this and we could really just do this with our finger we don't need a brush and I'm all about simplicity so why make things more difficult than they need to be, right? Right. Oh my gosh, that looks so pretty. So, this is literally probably going to become one of my favorite looks because it's just so pretty. Woo, baby, it looks cute. Yes, lay bitch. Pretty. I love this eye look. This eye look is really gorgeous. Like, I am not playing. It's so pretty. <sighs> Baby. I swear, every time I'm putting my mascara on, I always stab myself in the eye. So, here I am thinking that I might have allergies. But really, it's just because I got mascara in my eye. Like, Monique, come on. Get it together. I really need to go foundation shopping because, like, all my foundations are, like, out. Or they don't match me anymore. Because I'm, like, we're in summer. And not only are we in summer, but at the end of summer where I am my darkest. So, yeah. We're going to call that enough for now because it looks like I went overboard. Probably why I don't have any uh, foundation. But um, with this, and this is Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation in the shade... Uh, I don't know. It doesn't say. Um, but I think it's like 
sand or something like that or medium sand or <laughs> I'm literally just making shit up because I have no idea what it is <laughs> but I like this brush a lot it's the Morphe M439 and it is amazing for foundation <laughs> and I forgot to prime my face so my pores are gonna look hideous today <laughs> And this foundation is super pale. But I'm gonna fix that with some bronzer, so don't even worry about it. So I'm just setting underneath my eyes a little bit with some setting powder. This is Airspun. Uh, I think it's translucent. I don't know really don't know all I know is I've had it forever so I've had it forever and it's literally sitting right there <laughs> so I'm using it and yeah I just had to set underneath my eyes before they started creasing and looking a mess and we might as well set around our nose too Shit, we might as well just set everywhere I want to fucking set. Like, I'm just setting everywhere I start creasing and get oily. I'm going to set that really, really well. Even though I like, um, I do like dewy skin. I have natural dewy skin. <laughs> so, I have to make sure I keep my oil underneath, under control or I will look a hot mess like that. Going in to this palette, it's called Chicathon by Benefit. I bought it like a while ago and it comes with one, two, three, four, four blushes and then a bronzer. I'm going to bronze with Hoola and then I'm probably going to go in with Coralista. I'm hot. I'm literally burning up like thank god I have a black shirt on because yesterday I wore a red shirt and girl Now going in with this brush by Bare Minerals it's my favorite brush for applying blush with and it, I don't know, it just makes everything super foolproof. So now taking that same transition shade that I used, like the warm toned yellow shade, I'm going to take that and drag that all over my lower lash line. Then grabbing a flat definer brush, I'm going to pick up that shade that we used in our crease, that warm toned red kind of shade. I'm going to push that into my lash bed and then grab a pencil brush and just blend that out. I'm going to... I'm going in with this shade right here and I'm going to pop that on my inner corners just to give a very intense inner corner highlight because I love intense blinding inner corner highlights. I think they're so pretty. Okay so I went ahead and popped on some lashes and surprisingly my eyes aren't watering yet so that's a plus. And I also put mascara on my bottom lashes. So now all I have left to do is to highlight, of course, and to apply a lip color. So going in with the Anastasia Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. I'm going to grab a fan brush from Morphe and mix the two lighter shades, which are called Summer and Moonstone. For my lip color, I am going in with the liquid lipstick by Lime Crime called Riley. An oldie but a goodie. I love this. I just feel like the warm toned, the warm toned brown would really go well with this eye look. Okay, so this was the first um, video that I did where I was actually talking and like just going with the flow while I'm doing my makeup. And I like the feel of these videos a hell of a lot more than 
the videos where I'm just doing my makeup and then I come and do a voiceover. I feel like this is more relaxed. So I'm definitely going to start doing more of these. Um, again, I don't know. Last time I said um, I was going to start wine time series every once a week or twice a week or something like that. I don't know. I forgot. I apologize I'm the worst <laughs> but um I am coming back with the wine time series Thursday I may or may not have some really good news to share with you guys I regardless of the news that I receive on Thursday I am still going to make a video and let you guys know everything I've been going through these this last week and next week uh, so yeah, I'm really hoping it's good news on Thursday, so I have good news to share with you guys whenever I upload my next video. Um, but yeah, I don't want to tell, like, I don't want to tell you guys what it is now because I just don't want to jinx myself, but if you guys can cross your fingers for me and say a little prayer, I would really appreciate it because I, I just want this so bad. Okay, so this is my completed look. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!